mean, essentially, then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton promised that she would make public the donations to the Clinton Foundation and uh, also uh, speaking fees for President Clinton. Isn't it clear now uh, that Secretary Clinton did not abide by her own memorandum of understanding with the President? Uh, I'm not sure that that's clear, but you should go ask uh, Secretary Clinton. Well, I'm that. asking you. Yeah, I'm asking you. The most transparent administration in the history of the world. Joining us now, Larry Clayman, founder of Freedom Watch, former federal prosecutor. Larry, every Steve, time we every time we talk, uh, it just it just get the pile keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, now we have most recently this uranium gate story. Um, I just don't see how she goes forward. Well. She shouldn't go forward for sure, and we're doing everything we can, Steve. We have three lawsuits dealing with getting her emails and a RICO lawsuit in the Southern District of Florida, which gets to the issue of her selling access when she was Secretary of State to the U.S. government in exchange for contributions to the Clinton Foundation, speaking fees for her and her husband, and possibly the Clinton Library. This is out-and-out -out bribery. It's clear-cut. And it's nothing new. It's something that happened, as you know, during the Clinton years in the 1990s when I uncovered the Chinagate scandal. They were selling access to the White House and to U.S. national security for contributions from the communist Chinese right into the Clinton-Gore campaign and the Democratic National Committee. Uh, they sold everything in the White House, from overnight stays in, in Lincoln bedroom to judgeships to commissionerships to pardons. Uh, I used to joke that Fox the Cat, that was their pet at the time, Hopefully they didn't sell him to the Chinese. So this is the kind of thing that doesn't catch anybody by surprise that's followed the Clintons. And our RICO case in Florida, plus our two cases in the District of Columbia seeking to get records over her nefarious dealings at the State Department, are of crucial importance. But Congress won't get the job. Even Congressman Trey, Trey Gowdy has backed off. He says he doesn't have authority to subpoena anything. I, mean, I don't know how that's the case, but apparently the Clintons are intimidating him and, and Congress as well. Yeah, it is, it is disgraceful uh, that uh, John Boehner, while talking about the fact that he might have to subpoena the server, uh, praises that the Clintons are good people at the same time. It's like you, you, nobody wants to get them mad at them. Um, I mean, we find out that 22 of the 37 corporations, Larry, uh, that were nominated for a very important, very prestigious State Department um, award, and six of the ultimate winners, guess what? Um, when Hillary was Secretary of State, all contributed to the Clinton Foundation. Well, here what is important too, Steve, it deals with Iran as well as some other countries. But with Iran, there's recent revelations in this book written by uh, Peter Schweitzer that an Ukrainian businessman was greasing the skids to get waivers to do business with Iran, and Hillary Clinton signed off on that while Secretary of State. That's a direct hit with a lawsuit that we have dealing with obtaining documents concerning those Iranian waivers. And of course, why did uh, Hillary Clinton waive the ability to do business with Iran? She apparently was making money off of it for the foundation. So this is bribery. It's part of our RICO case and it's part of another case in Washington. It's very powerful evidence that crimes have been committed, a criminal enterprise going on for a number of years to enrich the Clintons personally and to enrich their foundation. Uh, and this time, she's gone too far. This time, I do not believe she will skate. Uh, this time, whether she becomes president or not, she should be sent to prison. She be, should be convicted and sent to prison, uh, along with her husband. Uh, Sean, uh, Sean Davis, uh, co-founder of TheFederalist.com, who we had on earlier, said that um, you know, taking money for your foundation while you're Secretary of State, as Hillary did, is unconstitutional. I know she cut some kind of deal with the uh, Obama White House, when, which now they won't even show uh, Jonathan Carl the, the, the memo that they agreed to. But um, you're, you're you know, former uh, federal prosecutor. Do you believe it's unconstitutional what went on? Just, just, the, just the taking of the money as Secretary of State? It violates the oath of office. That's in the Constitution, which is to obey and protect the Constitution to represent the United States. So in that respect, it violates the Constitution. But it violates a number of criminal laws that federal officials cannot take gratuities uh, in exchange for official government acts. And this is exactly what the Clintons have repeatedly done back when they were first lady and, and governor of Arkansas in the White House in the 1990s. I fought them tooth and nail in that. 
But we uncovered perhaps the biggest right. scandal in American history, Chinagate, only to be right. eclipsed by a sex scandal involving Lewinsky. But now we're back again. Yep. Larry, it, ne it never ends. And next time we talk, I'm sure we'll have some more. Thank you. Larry Clayman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, always great to talk to you. The Molesburg panel is up next.